The Yellowstone River Valley has an amazing array of outdoor recreation resources. It also has very interesting communities along the banks of this almost 700 mile long river. This river is an economic driver for all kinds of activities along its banks, whether that be agriculture, water for our communities, and outdoor recreation. It's also fair to say that the Yellowstone River enhances the livability of our communities. These communities are always eager to enhance tourism, which can be a significant economic driver for their businesses. Thousands of Montana visitors pass along our highways through the Yellowstone River Valley, heading for Yellowstone Park, Glacier, and the mountains. Too many of these visitors don't recognize the great outdoor recreation adventures they zoom past as they head west. The west is alive along the Yellowstone River and the history is amazing. Dozens of community museums along the Yellowstone River tell the story of the west. Stories about Lewis and Clark, George Custer, and John Coulter, the adventurer. Our Montana has developed a free app for Android and OS phones. The purpose of the app is to help increase tourism within the Yellowstone River Valley and its communities, and particularly recreation use along the Yellowstone River. The purpose of this presentation is to introduce you to the amazing features within this app. A visitor must first go to the App Store for Android or Apple and download the app called Explore the Yellowstone River. Once the app is downloaded, it will show up on the screen as Our Montana. Once the application is open, the user is given some simple choices. For example, where would you like to start? Let's say Blue Creek Fishing Access Site. You can do a quick search for the Blue Creek Fishing Access Site. The location of that site will show up on the screen. Notice you can learn more about the Blue Creek Fishing Access Site. Additional information will pop up telling you the more details, whether it has a boat ramp or how user friendly it is. You can also get driving instructions on how to get to that site. When you go back to the opening screen, what waypoints are you looking for? You can punch that and you're given options. Select launches and all the public access sites along the Yellowstone River will be shown. That is a lot of launch sites and access. You can zoom in and look at just the areas along the river that you're interested in. Let's zoom in and look at launch sites close to Forsyth. We find the Rosebud West fishing access site and there's additional information about it. If you want to know what Fish, Wildlife and Park says about the site, there is an immediate link to their website. If you want to look at the site from satellite view, you can do that as well. Pull that site up close and get a good view of what you're looking for. There are hundreds of acres of public land along the Yellowstone River, and it's all identified on the app. Communities along the Yellowstone River have great museums. You can do a search for those museums. They're all identified. A museum tour along the Yellowstone River could be a really neat event. This app will tell you how to get to that museum, where it's located. What's in the museum? There's a neat link for each one of them. Take a look at the Glendive Dinosaur and Fossil Museum. If you are a history buff, this app has something for you. You would have to have a stack of history books to, to get as much information as is in this app. Here is an example. Terry's Landing was established by General Terry in 1877 to service the forts along the Yellowstone. The Yellowstone River is part of the Lewis and Clark National Scenic Trail. All of Clark's campsites are identified as you travel along. Open up the app and read more about Clark's journey along the Yellowstone River. The Powder River Depot is quite a historic site. George Custer camped here on his trek to the Little Bighorn. Note that you can look at the site from the aerial or satellite view that the app also shows you public land along the river. For the safety of floaters, the app also identifies hazardous areas. A search on the app will bring up those areas 
on the maps. Hazards such as Waco Diversion Dam or intake below Glendive. The app will also give floaters additional information about the hazard. At intake dam, the app warns you, dangerous, do not attempt to cross Portage Right. Visitors need to learn more about the wonderful communities along the Yellowstone River. The app identifies these communities and also links to their websites. Our hope is to have more guides and outfitters along the Yellowstone River. The lower river needs more access sites, and there are no shuttle services on the lower river. The application has river safety information, including water volumes at various places along the river. We give visibility to cooperators who are also interested in conservation and tourism along the Yellowstone River. An important feature of the app is that it tracks your location, whether you are on automobile or on the river. It shows you where you are. The app will tell you how far it is to your takeout point. If you have marked waypoints, it will also tell you how far to that waypoint. Another safety feature of the app is that it will show your location with longitude and latitude. The Yellowstone River has excellent cell phone coverage. We suggest you download this Explore the Yellowstone River app from your app store. It is free. This app is as unique as the Yellowstone River is unique. Our Montana is a conservation organization and we believe that tourism and outdoor recreation within the Yellowstone River Valley will help preserve this wonderful resource.